June 4th, guess whose birthday it is? It is Noodle's birthday! You're going the wrong way. Say hi to everybody, honey. Hi, sweet boy. I don't know how we're gonna celebrate. Maybe we should celebrate with, you know, a rat. Noodle is my banana ball python. I adopted him not very long ago. I actually still haven't done an intro to him on my pet channel, which I really need to. And if you didn't know that I had a pet channel and you wanna see more reptiles and more animals, I will link it for you in the description box below. Thought you'd never ask. Oh my goodness. Were y'all around for the video where I showed you that I exploded a protein shake all over this room? We meet again, studio. Please, let's not have anything happen like it did last time. That was so freaking brutal, dude. It's like when you're already down, like life wants to kick you again just to see how you'll react. <laughs> That's what happened. Anyways, today we're celebrating Pride Month. Woo! Um, uh, proud to say that our office at Arctic Fox is so diverse and so unique. We have so many different types of individuals working in there. And I love that there is an entire month dedicated to Pride as opposed to just like a day or a national day or something. So I think it's wonderful. Um, and today to celebrate, I decided I would do a Pride look using the new Morphe Live in Color collection. So it comes with this super colorful palette. It's really rad. I like this a lot. It's like so different different than most other Morphe palettes. Like most of them you guys are used to seeing are black and just black and white and you know, pretty, pretty simple. So this one, if you actually put a flash on this, let me see if I can show you guys with my, ugh. I don't know if you can see the holographic elements of it. Anyways, this is like hollow back here. And then you basically have the entire rainbow. One thing that I do love that they added in here is a black. We're going to be using this today. Um, and I'm interested to, I think I'll probably use these two just to see, I want to see how the black performs. I don't know if I've ever used a Morphe black cause I don't really wear black eyeshadow much anymore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these that catch my eye. I don't think I need to sit here and swatch the whole palette for you guys. For the most part, we know how Morphe performs, but, uh, let's go ahead and swatch a few of these. This is Liberation. It's really cool. This is SF. That is a really pretty shade. I have a feeling that one might stain. Ooh, the greens and the golds in this are really exciting to me. Ugh. Like, can we just look at this little section over here? Oh yeah. This is Stonewall. Ooh. This is Healing. Oh yeah, yeah. And Thrive, this is a really rad looking color. It's like lime green, but it's it's more of like a chartreuse. Chartreuse is one of my favorite colors and this is called Thrive. So, um, oh, I wanna swatch one more. I'm gonna do Gilbert. This is this like really deep kind of purpley one. Um, I'm just gonna do that one right here. I already love this palette. Oh, the smell of this wipe is bringing back the smell of that wipe mixed with pro like protein shake. It's it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Hey, I'm like in a robe and stuff and like my pinky in the brain t-shirt. I haven't even like gotten ready for life. It's just, it's how we do it here on this channel. So I'm using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer just to put down as a base on the eyes. And I'm gonna do my eyes first as I usually do because I anticipate there being a bit of fallout since I'm gonna be really packing on the color today in honor of Pride Month. So kind of what I think I'm gonna do, although it always changes, cause even when I wanna do like a natural AF look, I end up looking like a blow up doll. But um, I think I'm gonna do like black 
and dark shades on the lid here and then rainbow underneath here and then the opposite over here where I do rainbow on the lid and then black underneath. I don't know how it's gonna look, but the point of this video is to try out the palette, right? So <laughs> let's go ahead and just, oh, it's kind of weird. Okay, so I used this one and you see how it's really shimmery except like where I put my finger and swatched it, it's like almost like the shimmer kind of disappeared. I hope it wasn't just like on the top layer. Like, you know, like back in the day, like really cheap. Ooh, 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 ooh. That one is 1978. That is bomb as hell. You know how like old makeup, like old makeup when you were younger, like at Target and stuff, it would look super glittery on top and then you like, use the top layer and the glitter was gone. Like that's all that they did. Like that was good enough back in the day. I just hope that's not happening here. I seriously doubt it, but hopefully not. Oh yeah, I forgot to share with you guys the brushes that come with this. I also wanted to tell you guys the price of this. Um, this is going to be launching on the 5th of June. I'm hoping that this video is up on the 5th of June. It might be the 6th, depending on when I can uh, edit it and stuff. But um, because it's not live yet, I have absolutely no idea how much it's gonna cost. Like in this fabulous little book that Morphe provided, um, there is no price on any of this. So I have absolutely no idea how much it's going to be. And I also do not know if you're going to be able to use any discount codes on it. But if you are, my discount code is Kristen. And one of the most important things that I totally forgot to mention in the beginning of this video um, is, let me get to the page, 100% of net proceeds from our Pride Live in Color collection will be donated to the Trevor Project during the Pride celebration. So I'm assuming this entire month, your purchases of this collection, 100% of the net proceeds are going to be going to the Trevor Foundation. So if you spend your money on this, it's almost like it's a charity donation all in one and you're getting makeup. So I think that's pretty cool. Here's a little bit more about that if you wanna read that for a second. Um, back to the collection, there is a, uh, brush collection that comes with this too. So let's see how many get you. Seven little brushes. Um, the only thing about these brushes is that they are actually animal hair. Um, so I personally would not be purchasing these. I do not use brushes that are made out of animal hair and I literally didn't realize it until I just looked at it. And if you're interested in knowing how you can tell, um, I don't know if you how well you can see this, but do you kind of see how the hairs of this brush don't lay down super flush? And you can almost even see hairs in this brush that are kind of a different shade. Um, that's one way that you can tell that a brush is made out of natural fibers because they won't be one straight fiber such as like fiber color. Let me see if I can find an example. I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully the camera picks it up. But so these, these brushes, unfortunately, um, that's one thing that I wish Morphe would really focus more on is making brushes that aren't made out of animal fur. I don't care how it's sourced. It's not something I'm interested in supporting. So I just really wish that like if they would collaborate with me on like a brush line or anybody or just create one that doesn't have animal fibers in it because I find myself not being able to use Morphe brushes a lot um, just because a lot of them are made with animal hair. So to start off the dark side, the dark side, I'm gonna start off with this guy right here. This is Gilbert. Reminds me of what's eating Gilbert grape. Do you guys remember that movie? Gilbert, sir. Before I put this on, I'm gonna go in with a darker um, liner that is smudgeable. Uh, NYX Cosmetics has one that basically doesn't move, so I would steer away, f away from using that one. I just wanna make sure that it's really darkest near my lash line. And then I'm just going to kind of place this on top of it and blend it out at the same time before it has too much time to set. Ooh. It's like a really pretty, like deep purpley gunmetal silver. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It's really pretty. Going in with a fluffier brush, I'm just gonna pull this up further. And then we're going to deepen this with some of the black in this palette. I'm gonna dip into a little bit of NYC right here just to darken this up. Okay, that blended out really nicely. Um, love that shade. That's like gonna be my no-go, my no-go-to, my new go-to for um, freaking, uh, you know what looked dope as hell is this one, 1978 on top of that blended out, like 
so good. Not for this look, but that's gonna happen in the near future. A lot of you guys asked me where I got this. I'm actually a little bit behind today. Um, this is from Amazon and they made a new one with like the wider top so it doesn't get as stinky and gross. I will link this in the description box in case you guys are interested. Also, Frankie was in like the cutest outfit the other day and you guys were like, where can I get it? It said Audi Dog on it. It's like so cute. So I'll link that for you guys too. For this side, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, let's just go for it and see what happens. I'm gonna go in with sunlight right here. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna start this off and see where it takes us. I'm not super stoked with the orange in this, to be honest with you. The orange is more of like, see right here, it's kind of like a lighter orange and I would hope for like a really deep, nice, like rich orange, but, um, I'm so indecisive. Gonna go in with Thrive, which is this really nice chartreuse green shade, and that will be our green today. Uh, I'm gonna pop this over this side here. The yellow seems to be creasing up a little bit right there where I have my concealer, so we'll just leave that be for a little bit while we build out the rest of the eye and see what happens. There's definitely a little bit of fallout, but I mean, what do you expect? This is, these are really bright shades. So I'm gonna just build that up over again, actually. How many options this palette is like really inspiring me. Like, I, I don't know what to do with myself. Gonna go in with sexuality right here. And I'm gonna build up a darker pink in the crease area because these two are not gonna go well together. It's gonna make like a poopy brown shade, I think, so. These like really bright shades are usually a bit chalky um, and you just kind of have to build them up and just work with them because that's just, they're, they're like marching to the beat of their own drum. You just have to deal with it. And that goes for any, it doesn't matter what brand it is, unless it is like a satin or like a metallic, they're always gonna be a bit powdery. I can't stay away from the shade. I'm gonna take 1978 to help blend some of this out. I'm just gonna put this kind of in the brow bony area. Mix it in with this guy. Now I'm gonna take a bit of SF right here to put in the crease. It's falling onto my yellow a little bit, but we'll work with it. Before we can move on now, we need to do our base and brows. What am I gonna use for base today? I'm gonna use the Vanish Hourglass um, Seamless Foundation, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a primer on real quick. I'm gonna use the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Stuff smells so bomb. And this is in the shade Shell. I don't really know if this is gonna match right now because I literally just sloughed off all of my fake tan. So I'm in between applying more and so I don't really have any pale AF shades up here, so. Moving on, I'm gonna go into Liberation right here and I'm gonna use this on the brow bone over here and then on the inner corner of both. Oh, that might be like a finger one, but I have these long nails on. I'm not sure if I can do that. So we're gonna uh, dampen the brush a little. That's the wrong way. Literally shot like that way. Okay, <laughs> get it together. Intrigan. This one's pretty like glittery. Um, so I'm a little worried about this just getting everywhere. Okay, yeah, that's okay. I'm not gonna put that on the brow bone after all. That's just too glittery. It's like chunky glitter. You almost need to like, you know, tap it down with your finger. Gonna go back in with our black liner that we did up here and do that over on the other side. This one's cool because it's called Oil Slick. I feel like it matches this shade really well. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put this on the inner 
I can't talk while I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on the water line. And at the same time, I'm gonna work this into the lash line. Going back in with Gilbert. Now we're just going to apply this over top. Okay, looking good, moving right along. Now we're gonna go in with the sunlight yellow and start applying that over here. Then go in with Thrive. Then Sexuality, which is a deep pink. Oh, I'm afraid this is gonna get all over my face. And I'm gonna put this all the way across and then we'll go in with the darker pink over top. Now it's time to break my mirror. <laughs> She's all good. Now we need to find some liners to kind of match up with these. Um, so I've got LA Girl Neon Lip Liner. I'm gonna use this anyway, it's in pop. Um, this is gonna go in the pink area. For the green, we're gonna go ahead and use the Color Pop. This is like all my eyeliners right here. This is my colorful eyeliner jar. Um, a couple of you asked me where I got this. This is actually from the container store. It was $11.99, the button, the button, I mean the freaking price tag still on the bottom. This is like in the bathroom section and then I just threw away the lid that came with it. I'm gonna use this Tarte Easy on the Eyes yellow. Very creative with the shade name there. <laughs> what blush do I want or do I want bronzer? I don't Freaking no. I can't decide whether I want like a bronzer or a blush. So I'm just gonna go with something that's kind of in between. So this shade right here is kind of like a bronzer to me. Um, this is a medium to deep duo and this one is sunset. I can't tell, I never can tell in the stickers. I'm like, is it this, when I'm looking at it this way or is it when the front, I, I don't know. So whatever. Um, I also have a discount code for Jouer if you are ever interested in picking up. They just actually put out a really cool palette that I need to do a look with that just reminded me. I swear, after I do my makeup and spend this much time on my makeup, like the last thing I wanna do is my freaking hair. I hope I can put just a wig on today and actually like glue down. I don't have the got to be stuff. I have nothing to glue my wig down with. What am I saying? I'm like kind of in love with this look actually. I didn't know if it was gonna look good. I was just going for it, but actually I like it a lot. Today for highlight, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the uh, Mother of Dragons Game of Thrones Urban Decay Highlight Palette. I like to go between these two right here. Gives a really nice glow. I mean. Okay, whoa, I was literally about to just go get some lipstick and sit my ass back down and then I got distracted and now I have a wig on and some earrings. I found a wig that I didn't really need to glue down right now, so we're rolling with it. And I also put a different outfit on. <laughs> this is how my day goes. Like I get so distracted. All right, so for lips, we've got the lashes on. Oh wait, let me do one more little coat of this. Boop. For lips, we're gonna be using one of the liquid lipstick duos by myself and Urban Decay. I haven't used this for a really long time. I just feel bad using it because you can't get it anymore, um, but it's still one of my absolute favorite shades. And um, this one, I just love how it's got little Kristen Leanne right here. This one is Forget, and it's just this really nice warm nude. So, just going to put this guy on. My phone is blowing up. I'm gonna take a bit darker of a lip liner and just to find the edges of this a little bit. The reason why is because I would like to get my lips done soon, but I need the edges to look nice and big. So when you line with like a little bit darker of a shade, kind of gives the effect of them being a little bit larger. And we are done. So uh, final thoughts on this. Obviously I didn't get to use a whole lot of the palette. Um, you know, I used some shades and those shades were awesome. I really like how, the, how they performed. 
Using this though, I feel like this might be one of my new go-tos to travel with, like bring this one, a really colorful one, and then kind of a more neutral palette and just travel with those two and keep these on my desk because if you wanna do colorful, you're pretty much covered with everything that's in here. I really love that they included, a, um, I shouldn't say a lot, there's two shifty shades in here, which I really love because if you remember with my palette with Urban Decay, the Kaleidoscope Dream palette, um, there was two shifty shades in there and they can basically transform any shade you put them over. Like if you put that over the black in the palette, like you have a whole different shade. If you put it over the blue in there, which was TRM for the Ryan Morgan, um, you get a completely different shade. So I really like that they did that in there because I was able to make this really beautiful gradient right here, which like, just makes me happy inside. So I think this palette is really cool. And the fact that um, they're donating 100% of the net proceeds to um, to the Trevor Project, I don't know why I was drawing a blank there. Um, it, that's so cool. Like I feel like you're just giving a charitable donation and you also get makeup, like win-win. So, um, I really like this palette. I think it's gonna be sitting on my desk and traveling with me a lot. I'm not using the brushes, of course, um, but I do think the package is cute. I just really wish that they were synthetic. Morphe, please make synthetic brushes. I would love that. I will replace all the brushes on my desk, besides some of my favorite Luxie brushes <laughs> and Moda brushes, um, with mostly Morphe, if you guys make synthetic brushes, please, 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 please. Um, so I will link everything I use today in the description box for you in case you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you like my wig. I think it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Goes with the look pretty well and my dress. So thanks for watching guys. Um, I will see you in the next video. I just want to say this foundation, I know that's not the point of this video, but can we just take a look at this foundation for a second? This looks so good. Like I just looked in the mirror and I was like, holy shit, I look like a fake doll. Like my skin looks bomb. I don't know why I don't use this more often. I guess now I will. I mean, that is just...